Dear students, in this lecture video, we are going to solve a problem on Raleigh Ritz approach. This is the problem statement. A beam AB of span L is equal to 5 meter, simply supported at ends and carrying a concentrated load W is equal to 10 kN at the center C as shown in the figure. Determine the deflection at mid span by using Raleigh Ritz method and compare with the exact solution. Take Young's modulus E as 2 into 10 power 5 Newton per millimeter square and cross section of the beam is 100 cross 100 millimeter square. Okay. First we can note down the significant data given in the problem. The length of the beam is given as L is equal to 5 meter. The magnitude of the centrally acting point load that is the concentrated load W is given in the problem as 10 kilo Newton, that is 10 into 10 power 3 Newton. Young's modulus value E is given in the problem as 2 into 10 power 5 Newton per mm square, which is 2 into 10 power 11 Newton per meter square. Cross section of the beam is given in the problem as 100 cross 100 millimeter square. In SI units, this is 0 0.1 into 0 0.1 meter square. So, from this data, we can calculate the area moment of inertia of the beam I as BH cube by 12. The value is 8.3333 into 10 power minus 6 meter power 4. Okay. Now, we can calculate the value of deflection at the mid span of the beam for the given conditions. Using Raleigh Ritz approach, Already we have derived an expression for the deflection of a simply supported beam with centrally acting point load. On the video order link description la again. So already we have derived the required expression using Raleigh Ritz approach. The derived solution for the mid span deflection is y at x is equal to L by 2. That is at the mid span is W L cube divided by 64 E i. By substituting the given values, we can get the value of the deflection at the mid span as 11.7 millimeter. And we know the exact solution for a given condition of the beam under a given loading condition. That is, the expression for the maximum deflection of a simply supported beam, which is having a centrally acting point load, is W L cube divided by 48 E i. By substituting the given values, we can get the value of the deflection as 15.6 millimeter. 